escape. Alex still lurking in the back. It's important that he stays alive just to cause a distraction, and he will come in with the kill at the end. A triple for Alex. Through outrage. Yeah, I have as well. So I can't really get over that. I don't. I. I. I am having a hard time justifying it. Headed towards this bomb site. Actually, he's going to catch them, even getting another kill, and that should tip the game a little bit. Vitality. If they were quick about it, they would catch a single person, but they are slowing down a bit. Yeah, but they have Alex in position. Actually, he's going to push up rap side. They do need to hurry this. Ariel, any any resistance he mounts is huge. Can't get that first kill. He misses the opportunity and too many targets. They're going to go down, but the flank is here. No one's in pit. They have pit wide open until Apex just creeps over. And that's a big kill. And that should solidify things. They're low on grenades and being forced back. Alu nearly goes down. In a Allowing Alu and Sunny to be here. And Alu got bored. He wanted to find out what's happening on the map. Shocks is going to pick him up. Oh, and the follow-up. That's nasty. That is really good, isn't it? A great headshot. And now Sergei alone down in the pit position. He's got the read all right, but that won't make a difference when there's three more people coming for you. X7 now. Might as well try and save what you can here at the end. Is is so cool. Hope we can get treated to a little bit more of it. That's so many grenades being exchanged, and I think a little bit of panic fire coming out from X7. And it's hard for them to even back him up right now. He's going to sneak in and find a kill on Alex. I can't believe that he's still alive. And now Saibu wants to push through a bit of a jump. But Sunny will be there with a the revenge. And he needs to stay alive a bit longer. Sergey there as well. And they just absolutely locked down the top of Banana. They are just waiting him out. And I think the, the nice thing for Ants at this point is Shox is not going to use a flashbang for this. In a one versus four, you want the element of surprise. So you're going to turn the corner. No chance anyone's going to be blind. They're also giving a bit of damage in return. Nick 7 goes for the peak and actually takes down Alex immediately. Sunny there with the follow-up and the trades continue as RPK. The problem with Ariel's... I, I like the fact that he's using this off-angle. The problem is the flashbangs are going to go over his head and still flash him, I'm expecting. So he actually might be in a, a lot more trouble than he realizes, though. Alu taking a lot of that distraction away and then Ariel is cleared to take that shot and that is perfect. Great double kill. It might be a good thing he bailed out. Notice how quickly Zaiwu had that angle in all mid. But now that he's fallen back, Sergei's all alone. That had to be a kill. It's not going to be their shocks with a follow-up. And no one from Ents can complete these frags. Sonny's finally here with the AK-47. He's got a double kill. And Ariel now holding on. There's a low HP player. That could be a fast double kill, but it's not going to come in just yet. On the other side, though, Flashbang does nothing. Ariel to pick up the kill. He gets a follow-up. Dink. <laughs> so many fights that have been lost for Ents in this round just based on, you know, almost no health left there on the Vitality team. And X7, well, he's got something to work with, but Shox has got the AWP and RPK inside of the bomb site. He's in some trouble here, X7. He's gonna find the quick early headshot, but now Shox is on the other side. He has a Molotov and a smoke and so does X7, forcing Shox into the peak and he gets it and then burns alive. What a way to end the half here, X7. This is so, yeah, they're faking the B bomb side right now, and and they're flanking him, saying, you know what, we've got this attack, it's great, we've crushed them, and now the, the bomb's gonna go down. <laughs> what is this? X7, every second matters here, staying alive. They're gonna be so confused by Vitality. They're gonna say, hold up. This plant spot is actually sick. They could do so well here. Oh, Apex just missed the timing of Ariel getting across to the left. This. It could be a disaster for Vitality. Still gonna be a very tough situation, but interesting positions for the post plant for Mentz. What a strange round. Vitality is trying to play Counter-Strike and Ents trying to play hide and seek in the first round and somehow that's actually worked out brilliantly for them. Sunny, a couple of more bullets will do it. He's gonna get a headshot, not even reloading there, taking down Apex and now Saibu gonna go and look for him. The jump won't save him, but that bomb plant, you're right, it's out in the open and I think they've almost run out of time here. The defuse kit is on it. He gets a one kill, but it's still happening and Saibu able to defuse the bomb. I feel like we're headed to a good place. That nade does so much damage, and look at the SMGs through the smoke. Apex loves these plays. It will be, especially if they can't immediately take out Saibu, because then they're going to be dealing with that MP9 close range, and Saibu's just going to be there intermittently to sort of interrupt the attack. He did a little bit of damage, but again, 10 seconds here on the clock, and yeah, that MP9 shutting it down. Good defense, good little dynamic there between Saibu and Shox and X7. Gonna be just waiting out the round. They're all around him, and that, oh. is, that is not good news at He's all. He's got zero dollars. Top mid taken, some nade damage coming out as well. RPK going to be forced off, but they're okay for the moment. Actually, with all this flashbang, with all this utility usage from Ents, not actually really pressuring the bomb site just yet. And on rap side, a big trade. 
They need that. This would be a huge round to be winning right now for the Finns. Ooh, they're chasing back shots. He's going to drop a smoke, and then he's hiding in the corner. I'm wondering if they were going to try and rush through. X7 taking down Alex, who again was feeling a little bit adventurous. RPK, that's a good lineup, and that should have been a double kill, but it isn't. And suddenly, they're in a one versus three. And I think just maybe a little bit too much aggression coming out there on the Vitality side. Now, Saibu finds a kill, making it a one on two and backing up. If he makes any noise now, he's in trouble. He may be anyway. X7 is right at the off angle. X7 throwing the smallest of fakes, not even showing presence, just standard utility to take top mid, and here we go. It looks like a contact play towards the B bomb site. Shocks misses with the AWP. He'll get a second chance, misses that timing as well. But now they're fighting in the flames, and Apex will take that all day long. Well, it's not going to make it hard. Otherwise, Shocks, I think, would have probably gone for the. Uh, wait it for the sound of the bomb hunt, and then try to shoot right through, but. He's been pushed off the corner, and it's a 4-on-3 retake, and at that point, it's probably better for him to wait and, and go for the full actual retake. X7, oh. that's a great headshot, and he almost took down Saibu as well. They might be able to do this, and stay right back in the game if they can win this round. Vitality are low on funds as well. X7 sneaking closer, but shocks patiently waiting, and RPK is going to be there as well. It's all on Alu, and he can't do it. Well, now they know there's a double open play as well on the end side, which they didn't before. Shots walked right into it, and Alu, it was it was so slow. X7, great position, and now a lot of trouble for the follow-up there. And I don't know, that, this is completely failed round so far on the Vitality side. Oh, Apex is going to barely live, but they've got to try and save. So, I mean, Zaihu still hasn't moved from his perch or coffin to the B-bomb site. But it seems like they've shied away from that fight. Oh, here it comes, though. And the flashbang with the third man set up. That's Saibu throwing the flashbang from way behind. Then Apex, a really, really quick trade, but a lot of damage. And a follow-up grenade on the Sergei almost takes him down. He's going to be in Arches, so free bomb site for Ents. And if they actually commit to this, which it looks like they will, it's going to be a 12th and free round. Hearing that, I don't know if you even heard that, but generally not a big fan of the gamble stacks. I don't know, like, it's, it feels like one of those things that, you know, I don't know, you need, you need some information, right? This, I, there's nothing here that they would have seen or, or thought of that would make them do this. It's just saying... I feel similarly to you, so... What's left? It's like, pick your poison. Yeah, I, we've seen teams actually have this problem before on the B side especially, but now flashing their way in. There's a huge stack here at Quag and Saiwu, that's what you have him on the team for. A big double, he misses a couple of shots here against Alu, but still buying all of the time, and RPK will take down Sergei, and this is the defense that they needed. Alu falling into the fire, he's going to get a party kill there. Saiwu just wants one pick, and he's going to get it. They can back away. Nice find for Vitality. It's very, very hard to find a kill against them. Now, Alu actually might have a pretty good shot at here. Yeah, that's great. Very patient. 28 seconds. They're bringing the bomb back as well. And it's just RPK and Ariel with a very quick clear. And that's the round. A nade of his own. So, okay, gonna... Oh, no. That was absorbed. Like, look at that. It landed right on the other side. Yeah, it landed at the very perfect angle to not deal any damage. Zaiwu with an open pick towards the mid choke point. Changing his position towards the wrap side. He's got another one. Alu alone at top mid, Sunny and Sergey towards the B bomb site. This is all they have left, and they might get everything. They need this kill. It almost feels like Sergey actually, especially now, one versus four, has to press the issue, but he's trapped in the corner. Apex isn't going to let him out. I'll, uh, I'll leave, I'll accept that. I think that that's, that's some sound logic. Ooh. Alu. So many grenades. This is one of them. The Molotov going down. <gasps> oh no! He threw it into the smoke, and it does absolutely nothing. Apex. Burning alive, and now there's trouble. Saibu will pick up one. He follows up. The bomb is on the ground. Oh my god. He almost hit that shot as well. 16 seconds left. And he's flashing once. He walks into the shot, but enough for Alex to come through. Clean it up. A 16 to 14 win. They didn't want to do anything else. Yeah, the Molotov's going to follow. So just a bit of distraction. Apex, though, looking in the right direction and sniping away. Sunny did not make it across, although they did a respectable amount of damage in return. They're straight down to the bomb site. They still have the bomb. Oh, and Alex, how is he alive? He was caught trying to transition in there. Oh my God. I don't know why he's not dead. He's way, way outlived his expiration date here. And he actually stays alive for the 
whole thing so far, that is just absurd. It actually set up such a perfect crossfire with his teammates coming down the ramp room. That is incredible. Shox, Zaiwu, they came to his support, and while they were trying to deal with Alex behind the silo, they were just getting picked apart. Vitality is one kill on RPK away from a teammate, and it's gonna be Shox to take it away. Double kill for him in the round, and a pistol round victory for the defense. Molotov in towards the door, that was blown open. A deep smoke, and Apex is gonna have this angle again, and with the edge of the smoke, they might actually think, actually another smoke in, but look at Ariel, he's so fast in here. That player up in Rafters is in some trouble. Good kill from Zyru, can't follow it up. A dink, and Serga and Ariel have such low HP. How are you supposed to be aggressive if you're either one of those players? I really don't know. It looked like they were about to sandwich in a lot of Vitality players there, but then it kind of backfired a little bit. RPK sees one with the FAMAS. Needs to buy some time here. The flashbang maybe could do it, but they're already down the vent with the bomb as well. And RPK lucky to find that kill on Ariel. He could already gone down. Now they're going to get the bomb plant. Sunny's already on it, and Shock's going to show up a little bit too late and a great headshot. And somehow they recover the round on ends. Door blown open one more time. Serga the first one. This time he's just going to spam. He's found the kill, but he's going to burn for it. Follow up from Alu, aggressive outside, so is Ariel. Great shot from Zaiwu's. Looking real good with that Thomas. Yeah, he actually has been quite accurate. RPK up on the rafters. Shocks with a good headshot. And looks like RPK is in a perfect position. Him and Shocks combining for a powerful defense there. And Alu now thought no one was there, but Zaiwu had read that very well. From the inside of things. So this time, there's the door being blown open. Alu with the pick. I think he's going to peek back up into it, Anders. Ooh, the Molotov behind him. He's definitely going to peek into it there. They had him red the whole way. Shox didn't even realize that they spotted him. And now this op can just rain down death. Long range. From any direction, and the patience is going to pay off once again. A third kill for Alu. Just off the fat. Oh, no. The other way around. He actually saw that coming. Gets the headshot. Third game next Ooh. to Shox. That is beautiful. One digs all day long for holding the corner. They're not sure if Shox is still here. He is, oh and that's God. the third one. Oh, this is absolutely disgusting. Now, finally, they managed to do some damage to him and maybe push him back a bit. He hasn't even reloaded yet. He just wants to do this one more time, and they finally managed to sneak in on him. And up on the hut here. That's a pretty powerful position to be in. RPK really wants to be the last to engage, and they find him beforehand. Saibu still gets a straight and clean headshot. And now 10 seconds left for the plant here. Sunny, he can hardly even fake it, and I think they know. Yeah, so smart for Saibu. He still goes down, and Sunny, oh! He steals it back after all of the work that Shox had put in, which is not without a risk. It actually looks like Ariel is already looking for it. Yeah, he's, he's been scoped up there the whole time. He definitely knows, but still goes down. So, if you have that kind of an intuition... Oh! Alu gonna catch him. I was gonna say, maybe again, call for a flashbang or something to clear that part. Apex. Nice turnaround, but they still are gonna be looking for the bomb site and nearly getting it, if not for Sai Wu getting that last kill, and then it would have been a pretty quick bomb plant here. X7 is still gonna go for it. No kit though. X7, a little bit of damage output that reveals this position as well. More grenades raining in, and that forces him into the fight, and he does pick it up, but. Saiwu getting the kill nonetheless. No kit here, so, I mean, they did not have a lot of time. That's right on the edge, I think, of, of what's actually possible in terms of defusing. Shock's gonna leave it down to the very last nanosecond, and... Just look at how much information is denied when you try and rotate over to deal with this one problem. Sonny the Molotov as well. Oh, he gets the gun out in time, but can't fire the shot. They figured Saiwu was here. They baited out. That is nice work, and now Alex... He has to sink deeper behind the silo in the lower bomb site. They're going to attack this. Two players here. Good shot from Alex. And Apex is up next. They have recovered the situation so nicely for the moment. Still 30 seconds left, and that's Alu taking down Apex. And he's going to be coming in from ramp, but this is a very, very difficult retake. And ooh, finds Alu out in the open. And my god, now Ariel. He's got a Molotov, but that doesn't matter with the smoke up. RPK goes straight for it, and Ariel able to do the damage. Even hunting him down at that point is going to be dangerous. And Alu, full health player, out of the round here as Apex takes one and pushes up aggressively, wants to continue the fight. They actually rotated three players downstairs. That's how much Vitality's been trained to be scared for that lower bomb site. RPK and Alex, they get back just in time, but so much attention was taken away from this upper bomb site. Still somehow fighting for it. Alex, SMG, there's just too many angles. Oh it's no! All, it's all on shocks. 
Only option left to Shox, and now he's made the noise. You just have to. And I think that smoke is not designed whatsoever for the position that Sunny's in. He can see the bomb clearly. Unfortunate situation for Shox, but you have to give props to Sunny. The play to fake the plant, get down the vent as soon as the smoke clears, and he's gotten ends to a seventh round. Group of guys that you play Counter-Strike with that you know are going to communicate, but you'll never play this in matchmaking if you're all alone. It's a, guy, it's a nightmare. Zaiwu with the aggression, the assist from Shox. And I guess that's one way to do it, fight fire with fire. I don't know, A7 would still be sort of a, a reasonable scoreline for, for either team. That's not the problem. Ooh, and Exploit the fact that they've been so successful downstairs. There's the door wow. open, and Apex had no idea it was coming. RPK in the site cannot hold on. Two entries for Sunny, three total in the round. Even the mid-round calls coming out, but they, they just sort of switch it up at the end. Alu will go down finally to Saiwu, but... Is it really going to be enough still? There are no kits in play, and actually, Shox will get one more kill, and now it's on Sergei. All the health in the world. He takes care of one, the flashbang, and so much pressure, and again, it's a 10-second defuse, and it won't even happen. Sergei will take him down nine to six in the first half here. Actually, it was broken up a little bit, but, I mean, just bailed him. It just barely got enough rounds to play with. T-side, flashbang is out. They go for the long-range duel against the Heaven player. That's Sergei. Shox goes down. No pressure applied to this defense quite yet, and Sergei spots another one. But he's got to realize they could be very, very close now. They get the kill on Nick 7. But yeah, Sergei's been playing this very smartly at the moment, and it will get him a kill as well. Three on three. It felt like Vitality put a lot into that early fight, and they're still making their way out. RPK finding two with the P250. And I don't know, it looked like a lot of that early push. He's going to get the last one, too. That's a quad kill for RPK. What a way to finish the first uh, round here at the second half. It just gets harder and harder to keep your focus. Ariel flashed off the angle and absolutely wrecked by a MAC-10 ball to the head and the follow-up from Zaiwu. Smoke will allow them to get back in towards Mini. They flash their way through in case someone's waiting at the corner. And inside of the bomb site, Sergei feeling increasingly uncomfortable as they're coming in from every angle. He did a pretty good job controlling that. Now Sunny with the flank as well. And this is looking brilliant. Ends with a good defense. Make a team. Make a team. This That's a good advice. Man. That one was for the potential wall. Now he's just out here and he wins the fight again. This is an outrageous play for him. X7. Doesn't need to stay and fight. Oh, he's going to go down to Saiwu. That's a brilliant headshot from the French player. If they jump around the corner here, he is almost certainly toast. Instead, he goes for the fight. Wins the first one, but not aware of Alex as the follow-up. And now with the bomb planted as well, and the two versus three is not looking good here, friends. Alex will back off and take a second headshot. And Ariel, no chance. A third kill for Saiwu in the round. This is a long time to be here. He's been spotted now. He certainly needs to fall away. Oh, right around the edge of the smoke. He's sticking around for this fight. 21 kills on Ariel, and now he knows the drop is there. Apex just wants the bomb. Yeah, you need straight headshots. The first one has to be a one fight, or the whole thing is going to collapse. And there's Apex opening it up. RPK turning the corner. Alex, they all collapse at the same time. The timing is so good. And with 20 seconds, X7 making his way up, and Alex will turn around for the win, surviving on four health, and the bomb goes down, and Alu can't do anything. I can't believe Vitality won that round. Shot across the bow, and... Nearly takes him down. The shadow showing here in Ariel, as you mentioned. He's been a rock outside, but this time he goes down and Alu can't make it back around the corner now. If they win this fight as well, X7 reloading and he barely gets that in. And now can he sneak through? And that's some nice aggression coming out from Sergey. Gives them the lead. There's a lot of aggression in lobby right now. Alex needs to back away with this bomb. He doesn't even know that Sunny's pushed in towards Squeaky Door. He's going to be a free kill. That's going to be the bomb down. Zaiwu in a one versus three. He swapped out for the AK-47. They know he was outside at one point, and he's holding his nerve, holding the trigger. He wants a second kill. He's not going to find it. Sonny almost turned in his direction. He surely knows one's in lobby. The spam coming in, it's not going to do anything. Bomb being faked. But zaiwu has got a big task on his hands, although X7 is far away in ramp room. Yeah, quite far away. And he's actually not even sure if he's... He's just gone down to check the B bomb side. Now he's back up again. Saibu could have had a plant, but there's no way for him to know that. Now he's finally going to go for it, and now they're coming up the ladder as well. And Sergei even finding a bit of an angle there. Yeah, Ariel starting to worry about someone jumping on his face. We don't want any of that. He was ready for it. Alex wasn't even thinking about it. Oh, grenade shots with no armor. Well, it wasn't even that. Shox is lurking and he's got the bomb. I was worried he was going to turn in towards Mini. Alu with the first kill. 
Ooh, the follow-up from Shox is great. Now he knows he's got Alu behind Blue Box. He needs to find that kill, and somehow this is working. Up the vent comes Alex. And Alu, he's got to try and pick up the piece. It's not there. It's Sergei instead inside the site. A two-on-one. Zywu, he's going to turn the corner. And Sergei is not going to be able to handle that in the bomb. It should be able to get planted. It's a one-on-one. An X7 coming in hot. And he's got him right before, right after the plant goes down. That's going to be the map. Four and so we're going to map three. Is he spawned there? RPK backed away as well, so Apex got the information late. Spamming through, nothing connecting for Apex. Oh, shocks. Oh, you poor, poor guy. You're all alone in this B-bomb site. They're coming from every direction. Good to get one kill. And look at this distraction. Alu attacking Catwalk. If he wins this fight, it's huge. He can have a massive flank, but he's done the damage and he's going to back away from it. He's got to be careful, but Vitality can largely just ignore him, but they have to be aware of the possibility. A fast retake coming in and two quick kills. Oh wow, and down the middle now, Alu, no chance at all. What a turnaround from Vitality. And now they're clearing out Catwalk as well. Saibu and Apex pushing now. Saibu getting really close to something, but Shocks goes down. A little bit of a flick not connecting, but I don't think they realize Saibu is right behind them. There's nobody in B. Alu's now jumping in right behind. Saibu turning for it, and two big kills with the bomb down. And Sergei saving them for a minute here. He's got to get into the B-bomb side before this boost comes in. Oh, and they slow it down right at the last second. So he does make it. Oh! Wow. Bless it all. That's a shot and a half. And Ariel, he was covering up a dark where Apex was trying to take that peek in. And RPK, really not much of a chance. He's going to be going down. What a turnaround for Ents. Initial nades coming out towards Catwalk. All five players are here for Ents. And the problem is, those MAC-10s are not going to be shy about being aggressive with this, with this smoke, with a pop flash. Yeah, and it's not like Alex, who's next to him, has anything either. Molotov's raining down all around. He misses the first chance. He's only going to have one more. Does take down X7, and oh my lord, following it up. And Alex also doing his job, and that's a beautiful defense. I'm almost shocked that they haven't tried to go for many B -spl more B-splits at this point in time. Sergei, that's a big fight to be winning against RPK. Ooh. He's also going to be cognizant and worried about the fact that someone can be lurking long. So it's all Alex here on Catwalk. There's no one to help him. Apex barely going to be of assistance. If they hug the wall, he won't have many chances. There's a bit of one there, but Alex gets run down. And he's been doing a good job previously defending that bomb side, but this time just too much alone. And still, you know, lurking on the outside there is Sergei. Just if it comes to a retake, he could even just follow up and, and backstab them. So yeah, so maybe that was part of it, but now they're pushing out long instead and right into RPK. That maybe could have been a double. Shocks though. This is not a good position to be in alone with an AWP. You can so easily get zoned out and... This flank from Apex though, he's gotta be... Ooh, nice tag from Alu. He's gotta be a little bit confused until Alu just shot that. They had no, he had no idea where anyone was. Is Ariel gonna clear this angle? Not at all. Free kill for Apex and he can actually survive. And Molotov forces him out. Now an opportunity for X7, but this needs to speed up. The flank is gonna come in in many different ways. X7 has the kill. He's not gonna cross. Let's just see. They're right on the edge thinking about it. There's the first grenade. There's the Molotov coming out, and it works brilliantly. Alex, just gotta stay away from the fire, otherwise, some of the brilliance is kind of gone. Apex in the middle has been winning this fight a lot, and that closes the round for sure. Sergey out here goes down to RPK, and now it's an 8 to 4 lead with Vitality keeping everybody alive. Got himself a wonderful home up there. He's got like everything going on the sauna, the little, little pool outside. It's all amazing. RPK quickly traded there. A lot of people on that corner. And Alex is Saibu. Can they make the jump past? Oh, no. <laughs> he's not even peeking, is he? No, you can't even shoulder peek this guy. He's he's zoned in tonight. Let's see what happens if you give one to Saibu and still hitting headshots long range. Alex ducking for that. Back with a bit of a distraction. Oh, Shock's going to get caught. And Sunny, that's a beautiful entry. Double headshot. And Ents is playing this perfectly. Nobody peeking. And Sunny has a phenomenal round. Vitality might be looking to make short work of this. That first half was incredible. Zaiwu is still playing well. The double ops, even the one on shocks was... You may, be not be, you may not be expecting a fake like this in a pistol. It's kind of hard to fake in pistol rounds anyway. Sergey pushing right in as they're flashed and ooh, not getting a kill yet. Now they line up for him and that's all he needed. X7 to follow up on that one. The bomb inside of the bomb side and it's a cool finish here for Ents. Isolated by Molotov from his teammates, at least for the moment, a follow up one. And he does not have a smoke to put those flames out. If they spread, he's in trouble. Oh, there's the follow up Molotov and the follow up nade. That's one way to handle Zywu. 
they're skirting right on the edge of a comeback. I still think the economy is the thing that's going to make the difference for, for really either team here. When it's this close and ends the last couple of times they've tried to make comebacks, it's almost failed them on that economic front. A nuke they pulled through, and that was great. Oh, Alu, that's the back of the plateau, and he's gone. Sergey has to stay strong, and too many targets in front. He's going to be dropped. They have the bomb, and that smoke should allow them a crossing. Seven not connecting. Bomb being planted on the other side. They have a flank as well coming in from Ariel. Alex is going to have a big job to do, but his attention is pulled away at the wrong moment. This flank is going to be so powerful it's in. It doesn't even matter. Alex, oh, what a spin! This is incredible, Alex! So close! Wow. The Krieg over to Zaiwu, which meant in the next round, Shox was missing a rifle. And look at the aggression here from these pistols, not panning out until just now. The drive-by from RPK. Yeah, but getting past Sonny's usually not that easy. He's got seven kills right now, so definitely not his best game, but still. Better be ready. 19 seconds. Oh, and the timing is godlike. They're just right on top of him. Aerial out in the open. No cover, no backup here, and tapping away and landing two great shots. That's really important. If he goes down, they just might have lost the round then, but now they're in good position. RPK expecting a jump. Ready for it with a deagle. Nobody's giving it up yet. There's a nice shot, and oh dear, it turns around. X7 in trouble, and that's just the pistols making quick work. Like, oh, walking down behind him, in fact. He's going to be going down, so Ariel getting what he wanted, and now he can even sneak back. That's not bad at all. No, that's a really cool decision from Ariel, and especially because his teammates had pushed into upper dark, so they had the information, and now everyone, all five players from Ents are here. They can have some very speedy aggression on this retake, or maybe they just don't let the bomb go down. Three players remaining on Vitality. There's Sunny, there's the M4 on Ariel that falls, and Shox and Zaiwu can do nothing. Just a quick peek. I mean, that's pretty effective. It'll force them back behind the smoke. At least they don't know what's happening in the middle. But Alu's here. Oh, and actually, he gets the second player. Looked like that was a bit of a delayed shot. Sunny goes down, and Saiwu will take him down. The glass cannon comes through, and Alu goes down. Ariel still standing over here at long, but the backup is going to be coming through CT spawn. And Apex is holding on one side. And is he going to drop down and go for a flank? That would be kind of huge, but also dangerous. Ariel is down, and Saibu now looking towards him as they swing out. He gets Sergei, and there's the flank from Apex. Maybe it'll work out. Flashback is dead on perfect, and RPK has got no chance. Similarly as last time, they get an early kill with the rifle, then they follow it up and steal one, and Sergei taking down Apex. I just don't even know what's going on anymore. Sunny going to win this fight as well. And this is very confusing. Okay, Zaiwu's still alive though with the AWP. Unarmored opponents as well. So that Mac 10 can do some work. Shox needs to decide where exactly he wants to play. He's gonna hold on to Catwalk while Zaiwu gets this plant down. But he needs to make his way back, but they're already up. He's gonna have a fight on his hands right now. He must win both, and he's got both. Yeah, pistols out for Zaiwu as he can get unarmored targets and headshots coming through. And somehow a 215 turned into a 101. Sergey oh. making the jump and Saiwu taking him down. That is so outrageous. Sneaking out middle. Looks like it's going to be really fast, but it's going to be almost with no signal. So the question is can Sunny and Sergey hold off on it? They're actually not even spotting yet. Sunny's fall all the way back, but Sergei's gonna close down an entire arm of that push, and he's still getting overrun. And Sunny picks up one kill. Another one would be great, and he's not gonna get a chance here. And again, it's Saibu and Shox. They have a Molotov, and even just the fact that Saibu's alive, you just know that things can get real freaky. That smoke, a little bit of a flashbang. What a setup! And Saibu taking down Alu. Now the follow-up Molotov forcing them into two different fights here. Looking the wrong way for a second. He knows that someone could be coming. He definitely knows now. Krieg is on the other side, but oh, he goes back for it. And Shock's waiting inside of the smoke to lose the fight. Saibu still with a headshot. And now Ariel, he's going to dodge the grenade, and he gets the headshot. And Alu probably wanted to follow up on that, but he just couldn't. Sunny, though, great return. And Alex instead comes in with a refrag on Ariel. And now there's a lot of trouble with the immediate challenge. Looked like he was actually about to get flanked on Catwalk. But now instead, X7 trying to fall back. He's alone. He was tagged already in the beginning of the round. And no chance here. 15 to 10. So outlandish watching Saibu do this across three maps, really. I mean, again, just... Not that it's all on him. I know we talk a lot about that, but obviously this is a full team effort. And some of the calling that's come out of Alex, again, as it has been for a long time, is, in my opinion, absolutely brilliant. He's turned Pop out to be a fantastic in-game leader, hasn't he? Yeah, it's, I, it's really something, a real revelation, in my opinion. But now, 
it, it, like, what do you do when Cyber is playing this way? That's the, that's the problem. Like, any dream or any hope that you have of, of having easy rounds almost immediately just goes away. Alex waiting here, and he's going to be rewarded. And Sergey going to be the one versus four. And, yeah, Vitality one round away. One kill away. And Cyber with 26 at the end of this. And they could just go somewhere else, or they could go and fight him. And they will 16 to 10 as Vitality end up winning the series 2 to 1 over end.